See you later. Thank you. CMAC today, got a couple of meetings and interviews, and I gotta finish that uh, Monroe review I started yesterday. meeting went well and now I'm gonna go grab Lauren and we're gonna grab lunch. <sighs> so something I wanted to test today was uh, different HDMI adapters with the A10 Mini. So, connecting a Mac to an A10 Mini uh, is kind of tricky. Um, Intel Macs, like straight up Intel Macs, like this 13 inch Intel MacBook Pro is not very picky about what kind of USB-C to HDMI adapter it needs to talk and push signal to an A10 Mini. But a Mac with a T2 security chip or an M1 Mac Mini is a bit more picky. And my favorite uh, hub is this one. It's this gray uh, metallic one. This one is specifically labeled from Quack Quack, and you can't find this specific one, Quack Quack, on Amazon anymore. I've also seen this labeled SMK Link, and uh, it's exactly the same, built exactly the same. It just has different branding on it, same spot. Uh, and it, when you do find them on eBay, they go for like $80, $90. And uh, it's been my favorite. It's got three USB 3.0, 3.1 uh, USB-A ports, a pass-through USB-C for power, full-size SD, micro SD, and Ethernet. Um, I think it could only be better if it had a DAC and maybe VGA built into it, but very solid adapter. So if I've got my little screen here, uh, there we go. And we've got the ATA Mini feeding it and the also the, uh, uh, the Canon M50. Canon M50 is going in there, going in there. And um, I can also take uh, HDMI 2 and this Quack Quack works with this Mac. This Mac, iMac, has a T2 chip, which is great. Uh, it's got some, you know, of the hardware video acceleration in it. So now if I cut, there it is. Uh, the screen flickered, uh, but but yeah, we've got a solid connection to, to this. Now, one of the adapters I've never tested because I thought it was too expensive at the time, but now that those adapters are going for like 80 plus dollars, I picked up an Apple HDMI USB-C. Uh, so it does USB-C pass-through HDMI and uh, USB 3.0, 3.1 as well. So I want to see if this adapter, which is easily available and about $60, works well with the A10 Mini uh, input, which I really, I really hope so. Um, another, another device that doesn't play well uh, with any, any, just any USB-C to HDMI adapter is the iPad. So I guess I, I could, as a proof of concept again, I can plug in my iPad Pro. And let's take this quack quack hub, unplug it from the iMac, and then yeah, my, my screen just went away. And 
plug it into the iPad. There we go. iPad, Ata Mini, and there it is. Uh, signal's nice and strong there. Oh, no, I lost it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now we're back. Okay, so iPad with the Quack Quack works. Happy with that. Now, let's swap it for the Apple USB-C HDMI adapter. So I'm gonna unplug that. Plug this in. And moment of truth. Hey, we've got it. Oh, it dropped. Are we coming back? Okay, we're back. All right, so that's that's the thing. Is like I you've, I've used the Vava, the Iyasu, and iCling adapters. They do not maintain HDMI out from an Apple silicon chip, a Mac with a T2 chip, which is basically like an A14 or something running security and running hard uh, hardware graphics acceleration. Let's plug this into this Mac. And are we coming back? Yes, we're up. And we seem to be holding steady. And just for fun, let's try this uh, Intel Mac as well. But I'm, I'm very confident this one will work because this computer is not picky at all about which adapter is plugged in and pushing to the A10 Mini. Yep, it's on secondary display, not mirroring my main display. Okay, for comparison, I have the Vava adapter. I really like this adapter, it's great. It's basically the same as the Quack Quack one, but with some upgrades. It's got a UHS-2 SD card reader, so it's super fast. Um, some of, there's two USBs on one side, one on the other, so it kind of makes it a little more versatile. So this, does work with my Intel Mac just fine. No T2 chip in this in this MacBook. So if I plug this HDMI cable in, which I don't know, it's so hard to do with one hand. Okay, I don't know why that was so hard. But now I've got that plugged in. USB-C to HDMI to the ATEM. It's refreshing and there we go. And it holds nothing wrong. So there's some different kind of like conversion happening. I'm, just, I'm sure there's just a different chip in here converting the HDMI and it works great, it's solid. But when I plug this into a Mac with a T2 security chip, so it's still an Intel processor, but some of the graphics are going through uh, this T2 chip. It comes up and I think it'll flicker and then it'll go away. So if I like try to like bring up a website, like I'm showing it, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so it's gone. And it doesn't, it won't come, it won't come back. Uh, the system preferences here, um, like recognize it. it, it sees that there's a different uh, screen plugged in and everything. But uh, I don't know if I change, if I change that, yeah, it comes back. Let's put it back on default. So it's back right now, but it's just, it's just not reliable. It's gonna blink away in just a moment here and not come back. Yeah, see, now it's gone again. So I like this Vava adapter, it just doesn't hold up. And then same, same thing with the iPad. So if I take this out of here and plug it into the iPad, iPad should come up and then it's immediately gone and I can't, I can't get it back. I can, if I put it to sleep and bring it back, Nope, still gone. So not not great for Apple Silicon, but it seems it seems this adapter is gonna do the trick. All right, boom, came up real quick. And I think, oh, oh, is it gonna come back? And it's back, okay. So I just have to think for a sec and it stays. So if you're wanting to connect your Mac with an M1 Mac and a Mac with a T2 security card in it, uh, or an iPad, Apple Silicon iPad, you're gonna have to go with the Apple uh, dongle. Let's see if we, if we do a search for Apple USB-C to HDMI. This adapter from Amazon is currently $67. It's $69 from Apple. 
Um, but yeah, my favorite uh, hub, the Quack Quack, C A Q A C Q O C, USB C hub. Uh, you know, it's hard. It's hard to find. Um, oh, here's uh, this is interesting. This is a uh, this is just a USB C to HDMI. I wonder. I, maybe I'm gonna have to grab one of these because this looks cool. But here's the here's the one that we were looking at, the eight and one adapter. Nobody has it right now. Uh, I can't. I can't add it to cart. It's currently unavailable. What about this one? Yeah, it looks. No, can't add it to cart. So let's see some other buying options. Used. They got a used one. Um, but yeah, this was this was great. I I wish. I wish there's more. Let's see if Newegg has it. Newegg has the one that plugs like directly into the side of the computer. This is no good. You're gonna break your USB-C ports. Don't do that. Let's let's see if they have the SMK Link USB-C. Um, yeah, look here. It's the exact same one. Looks like CDW has it. Looks like. B and H has it back ordered. They don't have it in stock. Yeah, looks like looks like it's here at at B and H. We can get it, but it's eighty dollars. It used to only be like a fifty sixty dollar adapter. It's gone up in price. So I don't know. This has been a great USB C hub, but looks like the Apple one does too. It's twelve dollars cheaper, but you're missing out on SD card readers. You're missing out on Ethernet and two other USB 3.0. So, I mean, is it worth an extra $12 for this? Probably. Is it worth $80 though? No. Is this worth $67? I don't know. I don't know, I guess it is, because that's the price, and that's the price to get it to work. So, yeah, uh, links in the doobly-doo, I guess. This, this is the adapter to get, or this is the adapter to get. When you want to plug Apple Silicon device, like an iPad, uh, a Mac, an Intel Mac with a T2 security chip or an M1 Mac. The only other thing I really want to test is the HDMI out of a MacBook Pro with an M1 Pro, M1 Max, because it has a built-in HDMI port. I assume it's going to be the same chipset as this, so it theoretically should work just fine, but uh, I should be getting my hands on one in the next couple of weeks. So I'll do a follow-up video on that. Uh, in a couple of weeks. But yeah, if you want your device to show up on the ATEM Mini, you need this adapter or the official Apple one. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>